Feinde erarbeitet für die Angst. Das hat uns gerade noch umgeht. Hier ist fast Feinde erarbeitet für die Angst. With Medal of Honor above and beyond, I think we're finally able to, to fully realize that vision from 20 years ago of putting you in the boots, allow you to see through the eyes of someone who was actually there. And that's been the most exciting and fulfilling part of, of the project. There's no moment in this game where like you're just relaxed, right? You're in a war zone. You are a member of the OSS, the Office of Strategic Services. That allows us to tell a story where the player gets to go to all these incredible places. VR adds such another level to it just because people want to naturally interact with things how they do in the real world. Whether you're inside a Sherman tank or at an airfield or sneaking into a, a Nazi sub base, the level of immersion is unprecedented. Through the power of VR, you're climbing a wall, you're pulling out your gun, you're catching a grenade in midair and throwing it back. Those are all things that you end up doing yourself. It's exciting and it's terrifying and it's fun and it's cool kind of helping create these experiences for people. We are making a game about the reality of World War II. So for us, you know, the authenticity was everything. When you put that headset on, you feel like you're back in World War II era Europe. It's a very surreal experience to be there without being there. You're not watching history on a flat screen. You're experiencing history with your own eyes. We have the opportunity to sit down and interview combat veterans from World War II. It's very emotional and it's very inspiring. And that's what draws us to dive deep for our characters. And putting you as the player on an adventure that spans some of the biggest moments of the war. Medal of Honor franchise immediately gives us something more intimate, more cinematic. Games are at their best when they're immersive and we're finding all sorts of little things you can't do in traditional games. Having the backing of Respawn and Oculus gives us the ability to push those boundaries in ways that it hasn't been pushed before. When you see someone play it, when they just kind of lose themselves into the game, it's been pretty impressive. If the game we're making ignites people's imaginations and illuminates the world, then we've accomplished what we set out to do.